Hi guys, welcome to my channel Science for All by PK. Today we are going to talk about the chapter Simple Machines of Fifth Standard. Please be with me till the end of the video because we are going to discuss some important thing in the last of the video and we will do the revision. So today in this part 1 video we will do the work and force. Kids, you know that we do lot of work. Say for example, work can be done by this knife in the form of cutting the vegetables or it can be fixing a machine using this screwdriver. All this is called work and sometime we say that I cannot do any work because I don't have energy. Then how this energy and work is related? Is there any relation? Yes, there is a relation. When I say I don't have energy, I am tired, I cannot do any work, that means if I don't have energy, I cannot do work. In other words, we can say to do work, we need energy. Repeat again with me, to do work, we need energy. Or we can say simply, energy is the capacity to do work. What did I say? I said capacity to do work is called energy, right? Now, when we talk about machines, we always think of big, big complicated machines. Machines can be very simple. And what we are going to study in this chapter are very very simple machines as the name said simple machines right before going into detail let me tell you what can be the simple machines you may be seeing many of them in daily use say for example this scissor is also a machine if we have to cut this paper I cannot do it easily, I need to tear it, it will not be cut properly. But if I use this scissor, I can do it very nicely, easily, simple, the way, what, whatever way I want. Very effective, efficient. It is increasing my efficiency to do work. So, what are the machines? Machines help us to increase our efficiency. Right? So, this is a one kind of machine. Now, Another machine is a screwdriver. See, if I have a screw fixed in a wall or wood, it's very difficult to open with my hands or nails. So, I use a screwdriver. This helps me. This is also a machine. Knife. Knife is also a machine. This helps in cutting the vegetable efficiently and effectively. So, all these are machines. Students, can you think of some other machines around you? You can pause video here, look around and find some more machines around you. I will give you a hint. You can find some more machine in the form of hammer or a plier. All these are machines. So what is machine? Machine is a device which helps us in doing work effectively and efficiently. Now, let us look into work. What is work? A work is a push or pull on an object. When we pull something or push something, we are doing work. Say in day to day life, if there is a football and I kick it, then what I am doing? I am pushing it. When I pick a bag, I hold the bag and try to pull it. And that's how I lift the things. That means, when I was kicking the ball, I was pushing it. So, from the definition, that means, when I kick the ball, I applied a force. And when I was lifting a bag, I was applying a force. So, you can think about work 
in day to day life where and all we applied force some more examples when i hit the ball with bat or when i try to cut the vegetable and apply force because i am pushing this knife over the vegetable right so now let's look into effects of force what are the effects of force so when we apply force there can be multiple types of effect say for example when we kick the ball which was stationary it started moving so that means it can change the state of motion of the object or if ball is already moving and i am again kicking it it can increase the speed of the ball another example ball is coming towards me and i stop it with the help of my hand or leg and also i am applying force because it is changing the state of motion so force can increase the speed decrease the speed it can make moving thing into stationary stationary object into moving all these are effects of force what are the other effects it can change the shape of the object say for example if i take this rubber band and i apply force it is changing the shape and size of or if i take a balloon and i press it then also its shape and size may change all these are effects of force so what did we learn force can change the state of motion it from stationary to moving moving to stationary it can increase the speed it can reduce the speed it can change the shape or it can change the size now let me show you one more example where i will use a simple machine and show you that i am applying force and shape is changing and some work is happening if i try to bend this metal strip it's difficult if i use this plier it's relatively easy i can apply force and bend it so this bending this shape changing is the effect of force and how i did it i used a simple machine right now force can be of different types yes broadly we can divide force into uh, two types one is contact force and one is non contact force contact force as name says it's when object and the thing which is applying force are in contact say for example force or i am a boxer and i am hitting my opponent in that case my punch or my hand is touching the opponent that is also a contact force is it possible to apply force without touching it looks like magic but it's not it's possible i'll show you how let's look if it is possible to apply force without being in contact these are the magnets see let me move this magnet near to this magnet it's moving away but they are not in contact that means this is an example of non contact force see if i it's moving without applying force so this is an example of non contact force is there only one kind of non contact force no you can think around and find what are the other non contact force let me show you one more example there is a bottle if i throw it up what happens it comes back but i applied force upward 
so it should have keep going up but it started coming down right when we play cricket what happens i hit the ball up it goes up and then comes down that means somebody or something is applying force which is pulling it down what is that force that force is applied by our earth and that is called gravitational force and it is also non contact because ball is not in touch with earth so that is another example of non contact force now we'll see one more type of force that is called friction force let us see what it is if i roll this bottle it rolls up to some distance and then it stops out so see if i apply force on this bottle it rolls up to some distance and then it stops so that means there is somebody or something who is stopping this bottle so it's not keep continuing what is that is anything around this there is some air but there is only one this surface down on the paper and the bottle which is in contact that means something is happening there yes you are right there is a force which is acting in opposite direction of this bottle when say if i keep it like this if i try to move in this direction as soon as i stop this bottle is not moving further that means the the force which as i was applying somebody was opposing it but there is nobody else that means who is opposing there is a force which is acting here in the surface which is in touch with this paper and the bottle that interface that bottle the interface between this bottle and the paper and this force acts always opposite to the direction of force applied if i am applying force in this direction friction is working in this direction if i apply force in this direction then friction is working in this direction so that means the force which oppose the motion of an object when it is in touch with another surface is called friction force that means when you kick the ball it is start rolling after some time it is stops so that means there is a force which is acting in opposite direction and trying to stop the ball is working and that is called friction force you can think about various other examples and find where else we have the friction i'll give you one more example when fan is moving and when we switch off the fan it stops after some time why it stops because we stop applying force and due to friction force which is again trying to oppose the force because it's moving it tries to stop it is working and it keep on working until unless it stops so then what happens when switch is on in that case we are continuously applying force to overcome the friction force so right student let's revise what we did today we learnt about work energy and the force we need energy 
to do work that means capacity to do work is called energy then we studied about different type of forces but what is force force is a pull or push on an object then we studied types of force and effects of force effects of force are it can change the state of motion increase the speed reduce the speed change the shape change the size right and types of force it is contact force or non contact force and in the last we studied friction force so kids so here is my email id you can write to me i can send you some more examples and exercise sheet which you can prepare and send it back to me or you can show it to your teacher parents or anybody who can help you in see how done it correctly i hope this video was useful and you liked it please don't forget to subscribe my channel and writing comments i will be explaining the rest of the part of this chapter in the next video thanks for watching this video and subscribing it thanks for watching